happen. Here they go for all the marbles. Ken Warkington will call the action in this three-year-old Colton Gelding Trot of the Cadillac Crown. Three-year-old Colton and Gelding Trot featuring American winner in Pine Chip. Con confrontation here is ensuing and they're picking up speed in the back stretch and they're up and trotting with American winner and Wally Hennessy and Pine Chip. The two favorites leave out together. High Noon Star shows early trot towards the inside for Ron Waples. Lotto S. Collins sweeps up fourth on the outside, shows early speed, as does Rick Wright. Who keeps Lotto S. Collins out there at three wide. Rick Wright now fifth on the outside as they head for the quarter. Then it's Keystone Corky and Metal Branch Hans is the early trailer. But Campbell's in the driver's seat here, controlling the opening quarter with Pine Chip. But on the outside, here comes the gray gelding, Lotto S. Collins and Jeff Gregory. 28-3 was the opening quarter. Pine Chip is going to get pressure from on the outside. Lotto West Collins. Those two will go at it. Lotto West Collins looking to soften up Pine Chip here. Right there in the pocket is American winner Wally Hennessy sitting a perfect pocket trip as they swing around the club turn. High noon star Ron Waples biding their time in fourth. He's the long shot. Long shot specialist here with Rick Wright in fifth. There goes Waples to the outside with a live high noon star. Rick Wright moves up fifth on the inside. Tipping to the outside, Keystone Corky past the half. Meta Branch Hans continues to trail. It's a pretty good clip here, 57 and four. Waples with a big brush of speed, three wide with High Noon Star, and he'll take on Pine Chip as they duel down the back stretch. Pine Chip and Campbell not getting an easy time of it here. Waples on the outside with High Noon Star. And the other half of the entry, looking to benefit Wally Hennessy, asking American winner for more in third. Up on the outside, Keystone Corky fourth. Three quarters, 125 and four, 28 second down the back stretch. And Pine Chip is still fresh, has it by two. He's dismissed all challengers. Crown him here in the crown. It's Pine Chip and John Campbell prevailing by two lengths in the Cadillac Breeders' Crown. On the inside, High Noon Star is second. American winner has been defeated. Keystone Corky closing, capping off a dramatic three year old campaign. Pine Chip. And John Campbell in 154 and two, just a fifth off McLobel's track record. There was never a doubt. Pine Chip, 154 and two, just one fifth of a second off McLobel's world record. And John Campbell getting the job done. Pine Chip repelling the challenge of all of those Colts that pulled up next to him. Well, I'll tell you, Bruce, American winner had a perfect pocket trip there and could not close in the stretch. Pine Chip was just too strong. Wally Hennessy was already, already starting to get into American Winter as they headed for the final turn. And I could see as they hit mid-stretch, those earplugs were out and American Winter was also full out. But Pine Chip was simply the best tonight. In hand as they came to the wire for John Campbell, one of the most impressive trotting miles I've seen ever. That's eight straight wins for Pine Chip, the son of Arndon out of the speedy Somali mare, Pine Speed. What a terrific performance and the divisional honors in hand. We'll be back. And Pine Chip set a higher standard tonight, winning the three-year-old Colton Gelding trot of the Cadillac Breeders' Crown. Owned by Charles Sylvester, Gerald Donahue, Neil Goldman, and Guy to Stable. Bred by KMW Farms, trained by Chuck Sylvester, and driven to victory by John Campbell, who's standing by right now with Ellie Sarama. John, how tough of a trip was that? Well, he got a breeder to the half. Um, once he made the front, I, I was very confident. He, he, uh, he never stops. He never lets go. And he, he's just on his game right now. He, he's just as good tonight as he was in Kentucky. Now, Lotto S. Collins was at you the entire mile. And then when you put him away, High Noon Star made a three-wide move. How about American Winter sitting in the tool? You weren't concerned at all? Uh, well, not at the half. My horse felt so strong at the half. And uh, going into the last turn, I could tell that uh, American Winter couldn't keep up. And, and then uh, I'd started him up to, down the back stretch when High Noon Star, and from then he just cruised home on his own. He, he really could have gone and broke the world record if he, if he had to. Congratulations, John Campbell, winning two Breeders' Crown trophies tonight. Thanks a lot, Ellie. And on behalf of Cadillac, making the final presentation of the evening for the Cadillac Breeders' Crown, Mr. Jerry Friedel. Thank you. On behalf of the Cadillac Motor Car Division, it's a pleasure to present the Cadillac Breeders' Crown trophy to the winner tonight. Congratulations, it was a great race. Thank you very much. Um, on behalf of all the owners of uh, Pine Chip, I would like to say thank you. It's been a great, great year. Thank you to John, the caretakers, everybody in the stable. This is our crowning moment, and we love it. Thank you very much. Pine Chip! Yes. <laughs>
So the definitive race in the three-year-old Colton Gelding Trot Division for 1993 goes to Pine Chip. 260, 210, and 210. Price is okay. One, High Noon Star finished second, 210 and 220. That's okay. Stable made American winner, 1A, 210 and 220. The exact to three and one, $2.60.